How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. So we are currently working on some Slayer right now and we are about to grab ourselves a level in Constitution which is great. Uh, honestly it does take quite a long time to get the uh, Constitution level so whenever I do get one it is quite nice. We are creeping up on that 120 now and uh, yeah there we go. 117 that is cool. We got it. We got the Zami title. We finally got that steam battle stuff that is awesome we managed to get ourselves uh the title which is nice the whale food feat has been completed it wasn't the double xp video but the one before i updated you on how far away i was i was only three drops and we just got all three of them within this hour so that is insane oh man just just checking these kills now after that hour we've done 1110 kills and we have completed the boss oh it's just so lucky that feels awesome if we have a look here, there we go, that is the Zami title. Brawn of a Tatsiroth, I think that's how you say it. If not, I've just made a complete mug of myself. But nonetheless, there we go. Let's apply that for a little bit. Uh, I kind of like the Jack of Blades one right now. That's my newest one apart from this one. Uh, the title from Zami, honestly, it's not my favourite, but it's nice to have another one for definite. Here we go, from siphoning this, we got ourselves 540k and 180 million XP in invention. I, like I said, I'm hoping to have 200 mil by the end of this weekend, which hopefully will be the ending of this video. So yeah, that'll be pretty sweet. And we managed to grab ourselves a level there as well. Three more to go to 150. There we go, we have just completed the Curse of Arav quest, which I know I should have the quest kit by now, being Max and all, but it is on my list of things to do, I just get so wound up in the other goals I have, but hopefully in the near future we can obtain that because it would be quite nice to get up to date on them. But there we go for that quest and all the other mini ones within Dimension of Disaster as well, and there is the actual quest completed. So it's currently about 3 in the morning and I've just been working for a fair amount of hours to get done with these 200,000 Zemo marks so I can get myself the Chromatic Party Hat. Is it worth it? I don't really know, but it'll be nice just to have that ticked off the list of things to do and yeah, just sort of get it out of the way because I started it and I thought I may as well just finish it now, hence why I was doing the quest as well, just thought knock them all out at the same time. But yeah, this should be my final invent of Cowhide to Tan, I've just done a run round of uh, making the bracelets and stuff like that. So hopefully this is it. Moment of truth, please be enough. Oh, how many have I got? Look at that. What is that? There we go, 200,000 Zemo marks, finally. Oh man, I think we go to this lady if I'm right. And opening this, uh, yes, there we go. Oh, we have managed to get ourselves a chromatic party hat, which for some reason, goes as a news thing. I'm not too sure why, maybe it's just because the time you put into it, no idea, but anyway, there we go. We have got that sorted. I think you just smuggle it out and that is sorted. There is the end result, but I am definitely ready to move on to something else. 200 mil invention is cool in my name. The hours that I spent doing this and not going towards it has kind of been painful, but yeah, there we go anyway. I still had a couple of charges left in my gathering trinket, so we managed to get ourselves a lamp. I'm going to use it on mining and doing so 25k XP and there we go for 112 mining. Creeping up on 50 mil XP, which is cool. I don't know if that'll be in this video, but it'll definitely be in the next one if not. And yeah, it's mainly to work towards invention really but the 120 mining cape is something I would like to obtain by the end of the year. Here we go, I have been working on invention, 3 mil XP worth of training later and siphoning this, there we have it, level 148, two more to go, very exciting, just like a robot repeating the same thing all the time but this is the last video you're gonna hear it so it's all good. Sweet, there we go, 80 million XP in constitution. So I've been buying up Ganodermic leggings like I did when the skill first came out because the XP from them is an extra 500k every, I think, two hours it takes maximum for me, uh, the way I'm training it, so it's not too bad. And it's actually really cheap as well. The leggings buy for under 350k, so yeah, it's pretty cheap to do because I actually have all the materials for the augmenters as well. If you were to buy them, they are around 650k, I think, right now. Maybe 600, depending on how lucky you get. The prices right now are a little bit messed up, but yeah, so it's... Not bad, I think it's fairly cheap to be honest, and to get the XP faster than I would 
it's definitely nice just to pay a little bit extra to speed up the process, let's say. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and disassemble these. There we go, 190 million XP in invention and level 149 as well, that is awesome. And also just in case you are curious, because I got this question last time I was training as to why I've got noted items and not taken out runes, it's because I will out them, but I want to put them in the loot tab first and then do all at the end. So yeah, just in case you're curious, that is why. So I have been doing Abyssal Demons, as you probably would have guessed, for the main bulk of my invention XP, but whenever I can, I do force a task here and I do make sure that I'm constantly getting the contracts to get the extra XP towards it, but any second now, there we go, there is a level in defense, so that is better than nothing. I didn't even show you guys when I got 114 because I I just don't think I was paying attention at the time, but yeah, we've gone from 113 to 115, so I'm happy with that. And yeah, we should be seeing a Slayer level, not in this video, but in the next one. The XP from this is definitely nice towards it, even though it's not that much from the contracts and you can't force it that often. The XP adds up and it's nice. Same with prayer, really. You actually get a decent amount from that as well, so we'll get there. So I've woken up, had some coffee, done some Slayer, and we are now ready to get ourselves 150 invention, which is cool. I did have a couple of leggings banked, so it was just a nice bulk. I think it was like 2 mil XP I had banked, so yeah, just a nice bulk sum of XP coming my way, but this is the final one right here to disassemble, and there we have it. 150 invention, we have reached the highest level in that skill, which is awesome, and yeah, from here on out, it doesn't take very long to get 200 mil. That is nice, another gold star to our collection, but later on, of course, it is going to be upgraded to a platinum star, I think it's platinum, it's kind of like an ice blue, so... I assume it's that and yeah that's gonna look even better if you couldn't already tell by the amount of times I've been saying it to you guys I am super hyped for this it's my first one and yeah it's gonna be great so hopefully it won't take very long it'll probably be a few seconds or a minute in the video for you guys but a whole day of killing stuff for me so yeah it should be good I am also on the alt account as well so if anyone is wondering when a video is coming out it should be within the next few days you guys have honestly been so supportive recently. I I've ran into so many of you in game and it's been amazing. It really has. I can't thank you enough for it. So I've spent the day doing PVM. We have these four items here and this is what they added up to. 2 mil 38k 500. We are 350 XP away from being spot on with 200 mil. That would have been amazing, but it's okay. We've got these maple logs to get rid of. I need some simple parts anyway. Four divine charges because even though... We're done with 200 mil. We're always going to be training invention, so yeah, let's just get some of these done. Here we go, siphoning the final item. Let's make sure we do have enough fix. Oh, that was literally just within. That is just within. That is nice. And there we go, 200 million XP in invention. That is... It feels really awesome, and I love you guys for the support. Literally all the congratulations, thank you so much. I don't normally have my private on public, I have it on friends, but I thought for this I would just put it on, so if you see your name, honestly, thank you very much, and you guys are seriously awesome. There we have it, our first 200 mil, a nice platinum star on there, which, it, that looks cool. Underneath the 120 summoning, that just, yeah, that looks great. But on that note guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video right here. Thank you all very much for watching and being patient with this. I know I kept saying the same thing and repeating it over and over again, but it's done now. And even though I'm always going to be training Invention, you know, I'm moving on to Slayer. I'm not going to be focusing on what's going to give me the fastest XP or anything like that. So working towards 120 should be exciting. It'll give me some varied content and uh, things to kill. So I'm looking forward to it. And we are, of course, working on our boss title still as well. I'm not too sure which one to go for next in God Wars 1. So so if you have any preference, leave it down below. Uh, but yeah, God Wars 2 is still Greg, which I am still dry on. I haven't done too much of it recently, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. That'll probably be in the next video. This video was supposed to be out for you guys earlier, but for some reason, I have no idea what I was doing at the time. But the original file, which I spent hours editing yesterday, it got overwritten by one video file. I must have saved over the top and I, like I said, I have no idea how or why. I must have been tired or something. But yeah, I was gutted because I did spend quite a lot of time doing it. It was a little bit annoying, but it's been sorted now and I do hope, obviously, you guys did enjoy it. In the background right now, we're just checking out the new fishing area. This was recorded as soon as the update came out, so yeah, haven't got too much of an in-depth look on everything, but I did want to go and check this out. I like the way it looks, there's a couple of times where it goes dark and a whale comes, there's some jellyfish. It looks cool. I am impressed with it. The graphic side of it, it looks really good. You can make some decent money from it and you can use, you know, the fish to make even more money. That might change, obviously it's just come out, so I do expect it to change, but as of right now it's not too bad. There's a really easy spot near the jellyfish 
just a stand and you can just catch them and bank without even having to move so that's pretty good. On the other hand when you press escape now they have changed that interface and that I'm not so much of a fan of but anyway guys thank you very much for watching and like I said for all the support it's been amazing. I will see you in the next video with some Slayer. Have yourselves an awesome day.